Hello. Yes. Yeah. Hi, sir. Uh, my name is Tirupatradi. So, uh, I'm working as an accountant in Clean Harbor. So, I'm from Hyderabad, uh, like a Musa Pet. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you. All right. Uh, thank you all for your uh, introduction. Uh, let me continue with my introduction before starting this session. So, before that, let me share my screen. Uh, we have offline participants also. All right. So now, uh, now let's continue. So before starting session, let me introduce myself also. Myself, Mohammad Khadir, working as an IT faculty. I have 20 plus years of experience as MS Office trainer. And also I'm a Microsoft certified trainer, certified by Microsoft, Microsoft Office specialist, uh, as well as Microsoft Excel expert with various versions. And also I'm a, I'm a director to Team Excel Ethics Private Limited. All right. And also... Uh, as I'm a corporate trainer, I've imparted classes for more than 100 different clients. So let me share uh, share you some of the clients where I've imparted classes. So this is one of the uh, slide where I have multiple slides like this. So where you can see in first slide, you can see uh, these are my clients where I've imparted classes mostly on advanced Excel, where you can see one of the biggest organization like uh, Aditya Birla, right? KPMG, most mostly. Uh, your home participant may come across this KPMG. It's a uh, competitor to Deloitte. So you can we can call it as equivalent to Deloitte. But then uh Genpack, data data technology data group. Right. So I got uh, got an opportunity recently got an opportunity to impart classes for IIM Udaipur, Indian Institute of Management. Right. The next financial organization like Bank of America, DCB Bank, DHFL Home Loans, Fed Bank, Royal Sundaram. Right. So these are some financial organization where I've imparted classes mostly on advanced Excel itself. And also you can see I got an opportunity to impart NMIMS University. It's one of is not one of the top three universities. One of the top three universities. So it's called as Nancy Moji uh, Institute uh, University, where I got an opportunity to impart classes for students as well as for students. And uh, former organization also I have imparted where you can see Sanofi, New Land, Biocon, GVK, Bio, right? So these are some of the uh, IZAT. These are some of the clients where I have imparted classes for uh, classes for pharma organizations. So High Radius is also one of the recently I have imparted classes for them. Paytm, most of you are aware. And also, not only for private sector, got an opportunity to impart classes for government sector also, where you can see uh, police department, prison department, NTPC, the next uh, voluntary, right, and social service organization like Nandi Foundation, Ed Educate Girls, so whole uh, social service organization got imparted classes for social service organization also. So this is one one partner. Not only this, nothing but in government sector. So hope you are aware of uh, group one, group two, group two, uh, group one, group two offices in government sectors. So got an opportunity to impart classes for all departments in government. So like group one, group two, group four, civil service also. All right. So it's uh, one of my biggest achievement of my career. You can uh, you can see. Let me share you that. One of my biggest achievement of my career from last 20 years, got an opportunity to impart classes for IS level officers from uh, the year 2016, from 13 different states in the in-service IS level officers. So let me share that. So one of my biggest achievement. So this is the session where I've got an opportunity to impart classes for civil service officers, that is IS officers. So on that day, the session for them was also on uh, Excel, Excel for them also on that day. So you can see in-service IS officers, these are all in-service officers. In a batch, overall 60 participants were there. So like this couple of sessions got an opportunity to impart two different sessions for them. So not only IS officers from past uh, 10 years, uh, continuously imparting classes for civil service officers, apart from IAS, all other uh, services like uh, APS, IES, IRS, right, social service, postal service, economic service, statistical service, 
all service officers. So a part of their uh, induction training. So they'll be undergoing training for 100 days. Part of their training got an opportunity to impart uh, them also on MS office. These are all uh, newly recruited IS, uh, civil service officers. For uh, Telangana, those who have been recently deputed to uh, Telangana IAS offices. So in the year 2022, got an opportunity, those who have uh, appointed, uh, deputed for Telangana. So seven officers have been uh, deputed, got an opportunity to them also. So presently they are working as district, uh, assistant district collectors, district, uh, not directly collectors, assistant district collectors and other posts. And these are, these are the other different clients where I've got an opportunity. Agrajan, Aizan, Ajmera Group is one of the real estate organization in Mumbai, where I got an opportunity to impart classes on advanced PowerPoint skills. Bharat Financial, this, this is the session just after COVID, we have started offline classes. So high radius, so one of the biggest organizations. December 2023 got an opportunity last three months back. I am. Sitting here in it. Intelligence Department. So last year selected and a candidate solo. Hope you can remember few of them. Gautam. Multiple batches. So this is one batch and this is another batch. Right. So these are some of the clients even got an opportunity to impart a police department also. So let me just hear you this. different experience in between uh, all of these offices. All right. So if I show all this, it might take more time. So let's uh, stop here with this uh, introduction. So now uh, let's continue with our demo. I can see one more participants have joined. Uh, I must show it. Can I have a small introduction of you? Show it. Uh, so you can unmute and uh, give a small introduction to, about you. Hi, Mr. Uh, Mateen. Uh, I'm Ahmed Zoheb and uh, Vendor. Okay. Uh, I have a small retail business, so nothing okay. much from my end. So you are so from? From Hyderabad. Okay. A location? Sorry? In Hyderabad, where are you from? Um, I'm from Attapur. Attapur, oh, okay. So, All right. Thank you. Thank you, Ahmad. Thank you. Right. I can see Pawan have joined. Can I have an introduction of you, Pawan? Oh, well, you can have a small reduction of you. All right. So now let's continue our class. So as as per my experience of like last 20 years to decade, almost 
All right. So I have whenever I've gone for a corporate classes, I came across uh, uh nothing but for a nothing but in a corporate, uh they would call for a basic at Excel. So they'll they'll be mostly calling for an advanced training, advanced Excel training. So the participant to whom I have imparted for advanced Excel training. So they are aware they are regularly working with an Excel only. But when I have asked some queries, not but before starting my sessions, so when I ask queries of some basic questions, even when I've started with an advanced topic, so some basic knowledge also important. So when I ask them some questions, like some shortcut commands or some options, which is related to some basics, they are not even aware of some basic commands also. So not aware of basic commands, basic, uh, basic options also. So they are regularly habituated to the regular uh, regular work. Just uh, we need to open this, click on this, click on this. We'll get a report, go for control B, print, take a print out, that's it. Right, so they are not even aware of the basics. Only school, college related basic they are aware, not full-fledged. So what are routine works they are doing, they are aware. Not with the advanced topic, not even the basics topics. So based on that particular experience, I have came across with ex uh, one example for today. Uh, that is formatting. Let us work out this particular file for today's uh, demonstration. So uh, let's take an example here in this particular file in sheet number one. I have came uh, came across with one file where you can see some raw data is available in this, right? So which is related to an employee details. But uh, let me take you through some queries here. So it, it should be an interactive session. So not only for today, so further classes also, it uh, will be having an interactive session. Not only uh, it's an online, so I will be regularly uh, demonstrating my Excel part. So it should be an interactive session. Then only we'll be learning something new, right? So let me take you through this. So here you can see my data is totally unformatted. My title I have given as formatting, right but it's totally my data is totally in unformatted structured data right it's totally unformatted so now what we'll do is we'll try to do some formatting right so before formatting let me take you through one query here so when we'll come across these type of unformatting structured data in our regular day-to-day -day activities in regular day-to-day -day activity when we'll come across these type of unformatted structured data can i ask this and this scenario will come across this type of unformatted structure, not about the data I'm telling, unformatted like this. So where you can see employee name, is, I can't see full-fledged. Department name, I can't see full-fledged. Location, I can't see full-fledged. Right, can I have answers on this? When we Let's expect the data from any... Yes? I'll you. One by one, you can. Sorry. If you do Alt H O I, you'll have all that. Uh, yeah, that's will... fine. That's fine. Alt H O I is later okay. step. So, my okay. query is when we'll come across this type of unformatted structured when, data? When we extracted the data from any existing tool. Yeah. Right. Superb. Superb, Suresh Babagar. Any other answers? Yes, yeah, same. If we, if we import from from or when you scan a cop if you want to scan and import things into excel this kind of data comes in if, if you are right superb superb scanning related part that's fine so any pdf file to excel yeah. right any superb, superb data which are imported into excel you'll you'll find this kind right, of right superb field. when when we download any excel document or online report and uh Download an online report to Excel format, you'll come across this. That's fine. Super. Any other? The fixed length of the cell, if somebody is importing, uh, if, if somebody is feeding data directly into the uh, Excel sheet, and right. if Super. Uh, online report is fine and uh, as you mentioned online one is online report and then when you when you scan uh, that but scan related file or an pdf to export uh, excel if you are exporting that's fine so when i you, agree with that any other when, any other 
when you feed data when when you are making a file when you manually, are feeding data manually entering your data okay manually so if you don't fix that cell uh, yes uh, according to the text then uh, the the cell size is fixed so if you right, add so to it when you are manually entering this particular data that's fine any other so three different points we have came across super thanks to ahmed and suresh babu any others Sign up from your end. Ramya, Ramurti Garu. Yes, sir. The same. When we enter the data, so I think it will come like this. So that's fine. Any other? Any other apart from that? So let me add here. So one point we can add, and another last point which we can add here is when we copy and paste copy the data, data from one data. sheet to yeah. another sheet. So this yeah. is formatted data. When I copy, Control C, copy, and try to paste this particular data into a new sheet, it will come like this: unformatted structured data. Copy paste from one sheet to another sheet, or it applies for one file to another file. Now let's take an example. Uh, let's try. Uh, let's go with one scenario, a small scenario, so to work out with this formatting. Mm -hmm. So I'm working with an XYZ organization, and my immediate boss, right, my manager, is uh, is attending uh, a meeting with a client, right? So he is attending a meeting, but unfortunately, uh, his laptop has given some problem issues have came across so what he has asked is straight away he has called me and asked me to download this particular file from an online platform and share immediately so that he can show this particular report to the client right so he has arranged one laptop and uh, that particular laptop this particular data is not available so uh, straight away sir has asked me because in that particular meanwhile he can have some discussion so sir has asked me to direct uh, immediately download this particular file and share it to me so what i have done as per the instruction of my higher official i have downloaded this particular file from an online platform right and uh, can i share this particular file to my senior official manager straight away where he is attending a meeting no i can't i need to do some basic format so what are the formatting what uh, i need to do so let us go with this so i need to basically adjust this particular column manually or else if i'm already aware of this particular excel i can just double click on it so that it will automatically adjust the column width not only column width in some cases scenario we need to adjust row height off right so as part of my demonstration i have taken only seven different columns but in a real time scenario we are not working with these seven columns we might be working with more than seven columns let's take an example i have approximately 40 50 columns are there right so let's go with this uh, or uh, round up like 40 columns are there with so 40 times i need to adjust column width right or as as a, a colleague have I mentioned a shortcut key like alt e o i right so we can go with that particular shortcut key or as another shortcut key what we can do here is just in between 1 and a this go in between 1 and a this click on this particular rectangle box so that it will select the entire sheet now what i can do is just double click on any one of the column so that you can see automatically column width will be adjusted similarly if you want to adjust the row height so you can just double click on it row height will also be adjusted column width as well as row height we can adjust here that's fine now column width has been adjusted that's fine can i send uh, can i share this particular file now with my senior official or any anything else i need to do uh, we can do a lot we can do filters to it we if 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 no no a uh, filter nathwat sir is attending a meeting right he has asked me to just download and share it right i there is no uh, they, he has not asked any uh, report in that or not sorting filtering he has not asked like that 
just he want this particular report so that uh, he can attend the meeting while meeting if if any queries come across with the client he can just go through this particular report if, if we have to send this quickly we can do uh, this file into two formats uh, you can do this uh, horizontally or vertically if you if you want to arrange the same fields in uh, vertical form you can change right. uh, vertically this is fine vertically is fine not horizontally okay you can do the this alignment. Fine. It will look fine. Font, font change and uh, alignment. Alignment is fine for me. Alignment is okay. Font change, uh, any font, not uh, not an issue here as of now. Okay. If you want, you can change it. But sir, uh, default font Calibri, not an issue for me. Mm -hmm. So one answer I got uh, that is title heading. Mm -hmm. Right from our offline participant, so you can see got an op uh, let me, I want to highlight this particular title, right? So, title highlighting is nothing but uh, before that, can we do any other thing? We can start it, we can add a VLOOKUP. Why, sir? Why, why to go for VLOOKUP? Sir, is uh, sir has asked me just to send this report. He has not asked me any uh, reports to uh, uh, pull it out and share it to me. Not required any uh, filter, sorting, VLOOKUP, pivot table, all not required here. We can remove the first <coughs> column. The first blank. row. Yeah, sorry. Okay, row I can delete. So how I can do? Just select the entire row. Yes. So, with the help of mouse pointer, we can select or sell any select any one of this cell from that particular row. Right click on it, delete, or else we can go with the shortcut command. Control minus. the shortcut key. Control, Control minus. minus. Right, so that you can select from that entire row. Click on OK. So row has been deleted. That's fine. Any other stuff? Any any blanks are there in this file? You have to just check and remove the blanks. Hello, hope I'm audible. Yes. Yeah. What I'm saying is, so if, if if any blanks are there, we can just check, and the count is matching or not. Okay, that's fine. Here, uh, as part of this particular data, no empty cells are there. That's fine. Okay. Now, what we can do is uh, let's uh, apply borders. Until unless we apply borders, we can't tell this particular file is an Excel file, right? So let mm -hmm. us apply borders to this. So how we'll apply borders? So basically we'll select any one of the cell and then go for control A so that you can see entire data part has been selected. So you can see outside it has not said only data region has been selected. If I select a cell outside of my data and try to go for control A, it selects the entire sheet. Right? I don't want to go with this uh, entire sheet. I want to select only this content part. Now let's go with one query here. So from school days, we have learned if I want to select this data, entire data, control A is the shortcut key to select all the data, right? So now let me take you through one more query here. So do we have any other alternate shortcut key apart from this control A? No, we can go to the, uh, the corner of the uh, top sheet and select this one. Yeah, but what happens? It it selects it will, it will the entire select sheet, sheet. Yeah. not the only content part. Only I want to select only the content part. part. Column A, B, C, D, and till G. Like this. Yes. But what happens here? Not only that, till, you can see that yeah, uh, empty yeah. rows also is selected. Or you can only see. I want to select the seventy five records which I have entered. Then select the first A and uh, the A. And just shift down arrow. Then after now, that, shift down arrow. How much time will you take? 
till end just say end select end control end control end okay control shift end control shift end okay this is one so but in this particular case what you can see is uh, it is going with uh, three keys control shift end mm -hmm. you got my point three keys i am using whereas control a is control a is the best with, with this good uh, good answer so we got one shortcut key any other shortcut command where we can select only data part apart from control a control shift down so I'm just selecting the title part, control shift down arrow, control shift right arrow, so that you can select the data part. But how many keys I'm using? Control shift down, control shift left or right side. So three, three, six keys I'm using. Yeah. Where else control A is the best here? Any other shortcut command? So let me add one more key. So we have learned nothing but we have came across with two shortcut commands here. One is control shift end. One is control shift right, control shift down. Second shortcut key. And third shortcut key, what we can do is control shift space bar. Select any one of the cell within the data and then go for control shift space bar. Here also you can see three keys I am using. Whereas control A is the best one compared to this two keys. Right. So now let me take you through one more. So one more what I can do is select any one of the cell within the data and then go for if you have from your laptop or your desktop. If you have a numerical keypad towards right side, then you can use control asterisk. That's what control star. That's it. You can see only data part have been selected. Here I'm using only two keys. If you are not using this particular numerical in your laptop, numerical keypad is not there, then you need to go with three keys here, control shift eight. Control shift eight. All right. So now, so what's the difference between this control A and control asterisk? Let us see. So if I select a cell outside of my data and then go for control A, what it does, it has selected the entire sheet. Whereas, if I select a cell outside of a data and try to use control asterisk, it won't select any data. That's a plus point when you are working with this. If you are, it should have surrounding data, then only it selects the data part. Got it? Now, so data part have been selected. Now I want to apply borders for this. So basically we'll go with this home tab, borders, all borders so it will select like this so or else or else if i want to go with a shortcut command can we apply borders with a shortcut command so this is uh, easy for grandma i think so we uh, we don't have any control related shortcut key here control plus h we don't have any shortcut key related uh, to control related shortcut key. We don't have to apply the borders. So what we'll do is we'll use uh, the hot keys here using alt combination. Alt. When I press alt, you can see some of the options have been activated on top. Right in this home tab H. In home tab, I want to go with borders B. In these borders, I want to go with all borders A. Control pledge. H. Control H doesn't work here. So what you can do is combination of all. Alt H B A. You can see it. We can apply a borders to this. Alt H B A. Applying a border. To remove borders, how we'll do? Alt H B N. No borders. Alt H B A borders have been applied. Next. 
Next, what you can do is, uh, as uh, as position starting, so I want to apply titles. Before going to this particular titles, let's take an example. I'm expecting that, but as today is a demonstration, I came across with a telephonic calls and all. I'm expecting few participants to join. So I have make a uh, checklist. So how many will be joining today? So in this particular list, out of this all, so this particular person has not joined the session today. Right. So what we can do is we can highlight like this text color or background color we can apply and share it with my uh, senior official or my manager. So like this we can do or as we can use one more command, like, but you can just use like this. So this particular have not attended, this particular person have not attended. So this particular person have not attended. You can strike it off their names. How we can strike it off? You can simply select the cell and then go for control five. Control five. So it strike off their names. Not only single name. If you want to strike off their entire details, you can strike it off the entire details. Now, so as we have mentioned at the titles, let's go with this titles. So title I can select manually or else Select a cell starting control shift right arrow so that it select the entire data part. Only row part will be selected. So I want to apply some thickness. So instead of going with the color and all, so I want to make a difference within these two data. So what I can do is I can apply some thickness, so which is bold. And we have a universal shortcut key for that. What's the shortcut key? A universal shortcut key is from school days we have learned. Control B. So control B is a shortcut key which we have learned from school days. Right. Now let's go with another query. So do we have any other alternate shortcut key? So as we are into an advanced Excel, you should be a separate with others also. So others are also using control A. So we can use here control asterisk. It's a new for us. And similarly, control for bold, everyone uses control B only. Even now also we'll be using control B also. So let's learn something new today. A new topic today. So I want to apply bold here. So instead of B, control B, I want to use some other alternate. So what we can do is control 2 for bold. Control 2 for bold. Similarly, control 3 for italic. Control 4 for underline. 2, 3, 4. Italic means Italy yes. means, Italy means? Three, three, control three, control two, bold. So you can easily remember here, two, three, four. Control two, control three, control four. You got it? Now. Yes, sir. Next. Next, how we can work out? Are there any other stuff I need to do here before sharing my data to my sir? Any other stuff? Sir, yeah, no. Let me... you know, like, so just we use for control five for striking. So yes. say I want to remove like it, it will be again normal. Same on off type, control Y, control Y to remove, apply, remove. Same okay. for two, three, four also, bold italic. Okay. The next similarly, uh, here you can see one more point we can add here is this one, date of joining. Date of joining also there. So date of joining you can see, uh, because of copy paste or because of downloading uh, from an online platform, it's showing in a number format. End of the day, the dates and the back end, it's a number one. Date format. Right. I want to convert into date format. So before uh, converting to date format, because we have adjust based on column where content wise, it has adjusted this. If I add a date here, so data may not be sufficient. So you may get has hash symbol. So what I'm doing is I'm increasing my column with Early itself before itself before applying it to date format. 
So now what I have seen with most of the participant is to select this particular column uh, that my date of joining will be directly going like this. Straight away. So what happens is you can see as part of my demonstration, I've taken only 75 records, but unnecessary, I'm selecting up to 10 lakhs records here. I don't want to go till this empty rows also, empty cells also. I want to select only the 75 records. So what we can do is control shift the down arrow so that you can select the data till last. Only data part will be selected to that particular column. Now, so next part, what I want is I want to convert it to date format. That's fine. So my data will be converted to date, but the date will be nothing but uh, you can see the changes from bottom. But I can't, I don't want to see the changes from bottom. I want to see the changes that we're converting into a data form and that's date format. I want to see from top itself. So now what I want is I want from top to bottom, I have came, that's fine. Now I want to go to bottom to top with the selection. With the selection, I want to, I want to see that first row itself. So even if I convert my data into date format also, I want to see from starting cell only. So one of the option what I can do is I can use this scroll button to scroll from bottom to top. I can use this simple shortcut method. But as I have only 75 records, this is fine for me. But what else if I have like 100, 200, 1000, 10,000, 50,000, 1 lakh record. As numbers increases, your scroll button sizes will decrease. Right. What if, if I have one lakh records, my scroll button size will decrease. So may not be, you may not be using this particular part. So what happens now, when instead of this, we can use one more shortcut key. Yes. Control backspace. Simple shortcut key with the selection. We can go to top. Now I can easily simply, I can convert it to date form. From here. Uh, excuse me, sir. Can you repeat again, sir? The shortcut key. So from top to bottom, I came. From bottom to top, if I want to go, even if I have one lakh records also, control backspace. We can go to top with the selection. Done. And I can easily convert it to date format. So date format, it depends upon your system date, how you're using. So which format you are using, DD, MM, YYY, or MM, DD, YYY. Those who are from US or other states, cities, so you can see your system date format. Now, let me take you through one more. Here you can see salary, basic salary. So what I want is, as it is in thousands, I want to apply in a thousand format. So how we can apply like 18,547. So 18,000 comma style. Only. So for that, let me just increase the column where even you can use rupee symbol also. So for that, let me just select control shift down arrow, control backspace. And what I can do, I can simply use this one. Comma style. That's it. still it is not, the content is not sufficient. So let me increase the column width so that you can see the content also. Right. So like this, we can work out. Or else, or else, what we can do? Control shift to one shortcut command. Control shift one. Right. So like this, we can form, or you can work out with your data. So unformatted structure, almost we have done with the formatting. Right. Any other, uh, any other points we need to do here? Almost done, right? So they said, oh, yes. hope it is done. Oh yeah. Right. So now I can share this particular file to my manager. So hope we have learned something new in this from basic shortcut commands. Yes. So like this, we will be working with some other shortcut keys as well as regular 
uh, re preparing report techniques and all. So mostly formulas uh, will be focusing most of the time. Right uh, now, so my let's go with the. Uh, The queries so related to our advanced Excel training unit. So advanced Excel basically our schedule is for one month. Monday to Friday is our working day, which comes around twenty sessions for you. Plus or minus plus we can we can work out up to four. Four sessions, so which comes across approximately 24 sessions. So this is not a fixed 24. So minimum sessions will be completed within 20 sessions. Plus or minus I've added initially itself so that uh, there won't be any confusion. Right. So 20 is a regular one. So plus we can add 24 plus or minus we can see. Next. So as uh, Demo session has been start planned like 8.30 a.m. to 9.30 a.m. This is the timing. Or as an alternate timing, what we have planned is this, 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. It's up to all which time is comfortable with all. Majority will be seeing and then we'll start with the times. So tentative, I have planned with her to start a session after Holi. Right, so next day it might be, all might be joining or not. So what I have planned, we'll be starting from 27th. If we get a good number, we can start from 27th itself. Or else one day might be expected. It will be communicated in group. Any other queries apart from this, you are welcome to ask. Sir, can we get the recordings of uh, all the classes? Yes, they, uh, every every class recording you'll be getting uh, after completion, uh, after completion, like 9.30 you'll be completing. So by 11 o'clock on or before you'll be receiving the record. So with a one condition, if our front office team not not available on that day, you might be getting our next day recording. Thank you, sir. Any, any integration part will, show, will be shown in this in your session, sir? Integration, uh, it's only related to advanced, uh, advanced Excel related content, only re preparing reports and all. Integration, like we look up, we can work out. No, uh, but uh, AI integration. Content. Let me show you the content also. What we'll be uh, learning. So advanced Excel, advanced Excel. What advanced Excel will be learning? So let me share, share you with this. So in this advanced Excel content, so first initial couple of days, like two to three days, we'll be going with a scratch. So everyone, uh, everyone will be in a one level. So what we'll do is we'll start with the basics, scratch. So for start from what is Excel, right? What is Excel? What are the terminologies used in Excel, right? What about cut, copy, paste, using some shortcut commands and all. Then next we'll discuss about this number formatting, font group, alignment group. Then next we'll discuss about conditional formatting, formatting as a table, right? The next fill options, filling your data, justify. The next find, replace, go to all these particular options we'll be discussing. Two to three days it might be there uh, or else one day extend up to four days maximum. And after that we'll go to advanced topics so that everyone will be aware of the basic commands basic keys just now what we have discussed in a demonstration the next we'll go to advanced part in advanced very most important point is this working with formulas so what is formula how to start a formula what are the terminologies used argument what are the arguments mandatory and optional argument all these we'll see the next the formulas part cell for cell reference text functions date functions Logical functions, mathematical functions, statistical functions, information function, lookup functions, right? The next report preparing part, report designing techniques, spark lines, filters, inserting, hyperlink and all. The next we'll see report printing related options. The next data management techniques, formula auditing. In, an, in Excel also we have some formula auditing options. 
the next year we'll come across data management techniques where we can see uh, sorting, filtering, normal sorting, normal filtering. And in that, what are this multi-level sorting, multi-level filtering, text filtering, color filtering, number filtering, all will be working here. Right. Then next we'll discuss about data validation, data forecasting, data analysis. The next report data protection techniques, data viewing. The next last topic will come across your data analysis and visualization where we'll see pivot table and charts, pivot table, chart, pivot charts. The last topic we'll be working is dashboard. So till here we'll be working normally and then dashboard creation in a regular classes will be completing as well as we'll be having dashboard creation using real time data also. A couple of sessions will be there for that. Right. So these are the topics we'll be covering in next. Hope you have uh, clarity, got clarity on what uh, we'll be working in advanced Excel, Ahmed. So you didn't say anything about uh, this uh, artificial intelligence integration? No, no. So artificial intelligence will, uh, as we are working with the latest version, uh, Office 365, what are the artificial uh, AI related concepts have been implemented in Excel that can be discussed? So no, no, integra no integration of no. Uh, either uh, uh, chat GPT or? No, no. So only AI related, what are the new implementation that can be discussed? Even uh, in my Office 365, I have chat GPT related work, but uh, as our participant may not be using Office 365, so we, we have not yet added this particular part in our regular cutting. Okay. Uh, sir, and for the shortest, uh, shortcut keys, uh, so will you give some printed material or? Uh, Soft copy, because most of all our colleagues have joined online. So online or offline, all participants will be getting a, a soft copy of material. So material and all will be shown uh, later on what material will be giving and all. So let me share you so as a shortcut keys related concept came across. So shortcuts. So we'll be sharing all shortcut keys related formulas, all parts formulas how we'll be working with all formulas we'll be sharing shortcut commands related files will be sharing separate from my end i'll be sharing some shortcut keys also sir will you post it in our group yes yes all communication will be done in a group material as well as a recording a recording will be getting on youtube with a private access and uh the data, but as I have today, I have taken a raw data and done with the practice. Similar kind of raw data for every topic will be will be shared on group itself. So we'll be working with the raw data only, right? Whatever raw data I'm using, similarly you you'll be receiving the same exercise. You can also simultaneously practice on it. Okay, thank you, sir. As you have uh, brought the point that you have uh, live access or. Uh... To the uh, to the portal, is there any validity for that? Yeah, recording related. Uh, after completion of your completion, uh, but the classes will be for one month, and uh, after completion of your training, you will be getting one month period, extra period, to access recordings. Okay. Due to storage issues, we are uh, giving an access up to only one month. Okay. Uh, sir, one more thing, sir. So mostly I'll try to attend uh, for the offline classes. Suppose if I'm absent, no, sir, so can I attend you online? Can, you can, as you have today joined, you can go with the online also. Okay. You have both options. So daily you'll be sending the Zoom link or the same? Will so be only the same link will be shared with all, only one link will be shared. So not this particular link because this is only a, a public one where, where all can join. 
once all uh, participants are confirmed, we will be sharing one constant link. So with that particular link only, we will be joining. Okay, thank you, sir. Sir, one more thing. Today you taught us uh, about the formatting, right? So again, yes. will you repeat it, sir? No, no. It's only a demo-related one. Okay. Other regular formatting we'll discuss uh, in a regular class, but not these shortcut keys, not these files. Okay. Hope it is done. Okay, sir. Hello. Yeah. Hi, good morning, sir. Vijay. Yeah, Vijay. Yeah, actually, 9 a.m. we have project session, sir. So now uh, you have received the link also. Go through that particular link, not this particular one. This is only a demo. Yeah, actually, we did not receive the link, sir. So you can contact the front office team, not in the okay. uh, this class. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay, okay, fine. Okay. Call to I the front office. Okay, fine. Okay, then we'll wind up with this particular topic. Thank you. Thank you all. Sorry, Kadir, I, I missed yeah. that. What is this amount you have specified for the fee? Uh, we have uh, we have quoted this 6,000, rupees 6,000. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, sir, if uh, I want to learn uh, uh, entire MS Office, so then after this session, can I attend for the Word and PPT also? Yes, 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 yes. The same timing will be there, sir? Timing uh, may be changed. So we'll update you regarding that. First, let's complete Excel first. Okay, sir. Right, then thank you. Thank you all. all right. Thank you. Thank Enjoy you, your sir. weekend. Thank, Thank you all. Same to you. And a happy only advance, happy only to all. Thank you, sir. Same to you. Sir.